welcome to Sculpture Studios. Oh boy, you're joining us in the depths of the Indian jungle today. I really hope these shots are actually from the Indian jungle because we're taking a trip to sort of the Jungle Book neck of the woods in terms of inspiration. We've been in touch with the head and particular primary school teacher from the Lee Chapel School here in Basildon. They're looking to transform their main reception area for visitors and students entering the school and no doubt the staff might consider this a new favourite way into the building as well. We've been sent some dementia, I mean in an old lost monkey temple we've discovered an ancient piece of parchment with strange symbols that somehow exactly match one of the corners of the Lee Chapel reception area. How mysterious. I did mention a particular primary school teacher earlier. Well, you're looking at what we have here. You may recognise a familiar face from the Sculpture Studios family. We took a visit to site to see whether the legends of the sizes on the ancient parchment were actually true and, lo and behold, confirmation. Our site visit also enables us to take a look at the access routes through the school, where we can and can't enter the building, to allow for as much space as possible for whatever we end up creating. It's good to take a look round and work this out in the early stages so that we don't accidentally shoot ourselves in the foot and end up with a piece of sculpture that's simply too large that we need to cut into pieces on the day. We've initially put loads of concept ideas together for different areas of the room based on storybook tales and characters to provide Lee Chapel with food for thought for the future. This project video is going to be just the first of what we're going to be making, so keep a lookout for what else we build for them, by which I'll eventually include some links with this YouTube video. The first on the agenda is going to be a Jungle Book themed corner of the room, a tree with a cartoon styled Indian rock python. No doubt many of you would have seen us creating trees before, it's something we're well versed in. Polystyrene is first hot wire cut into organically shaped battens with a polyurethane expanding foam to join everything together. The reason for creating the tree upside down is because we know the flat of the floor will match the flat of the ceiling and we can also manage and access everything easily at ground level. We then go to work hand carving with wire brushes and once we're happy with the form usually we would send updated photos to the client for approval. In this case though, we're keeping this as a sort of surprise, so we're going to crack straight on with protecting the polystyrene surface before going on with a resin and glass fibre. The secretly sourced sticky back tin foil strikes again, drop us an email if you want a taste of this material's capabilities, and this protects the polystyrene from the polyester resin going on the top. Alternatively, yes you can use something like multiple layers of the PVA glue, but as well as being much messier, you also have to wait for each layer to dry, and so we found that our sticky back foil does just the trick. As opposed to a polyester resin, yes you can use an epoxy, but from our experience, this simply makes the project much more expensive for the client. And let's face it, who wants that? Here, charmingly exhibited by Tom, you can see one of the two break lines that show how we're creating the tree in three separate pieces. This way we can more comfortably manoeuvre each section through the school doorways before assembly on site. We're hollowing out the back section of the tree trunk, creating strong fibreglass flanges that will enable us to bolt each section together. When the majority of the main construction is complete, we go over the entire surface with a flow coat of resin to help lose that fibrous matte texture. For now, we're deliberately going to be leaving all of the foliage off of the tree, as not only does it make it more difficult to handle and manage here in the studio, particularly whilst we're working on other areas, but everything gets notoriously dusty here in the workshop. This also adds unnecessary weight, which is particularly important for when we're manoeuvring this around on site and setting everything up on location. For the snake, 
we want to favour a smoother finish than the bark of the tree, so that the texture is much sleeker for just to later airbrush. This is so this isn't too rough to the touch for children on site, though you should definitely avoid touching giant wild pythons if you can help it. To save us additional work on site, we're pre-drilling the holes for the foliage now, and we're going to add a few branches here in the studio for when we invite Mr Hines and the head teacher Mrs Jackson down to the studio to see the project. This is always an enjoyable part of the process, particularly with a project like this that we've kept relatively under wraps until now. As well as audiences in the theatres enjoying the props and sets we build, and visitors in the theme parks enjoying the scenery, our initial aim first and foremost is to make sure that our clients are happy, as they're the people who might approach us again for future projects later down the line. This is certainly no exception in this case, where we want to make a really great first impression, particularly as we've been told that Mrs Jackson has more ideas that she'd love to bring to life. As I'm creating this video, I mean, I already know exactly what those projects are going to be. No spoilers though, no no no, you're going to have to wait to find that out for yourselves. For now, it's off to site to set up this jungle tree before all of the children return back to school after their term break. When everything has been squeezed through various doorways and manoeuvred around tight corners and corridors in the school, the tree is then bolted together on location and we secure this to both the corner wall as well as the ceiling. We then fill and clean up the seam lines, repaint and add the foliage for the finishing touch. This jungle tree project marks only the beginning of the transformation of the Lee Chapel School reception, and I'm telling you now, the other projects coming up, they're certainly not ones you want to miss, so be sure to keep checking back in and see what else we're creating to spruce up one of our local primary schools. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest videos. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram via the links below, and for all of our true diehard fans out there, you can now become a patron of our studio. Many thanks to all of our existing patrons, your support really does mean a lot. All of our supporter contributions go towards the creation of these videos, so if you enjoy our content, you know what to do. Becoming one of our credited patrons means you'll be featured at the end of our upcoming YouTube projects like these guys here, so visit the Patreon link with this video to show your support. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.